Okay, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Fixing wobble in a stock 996, and maybe this applies to a 986 Porsche Carrera or Porsche Boxster. Now you get a lot of wobble in the stock accelerator pedal. So you can get this uh, Ren Sport, is it? Bracket to, that goes over a brass sleeve that we'll talk about in a second. First of all, how do you get the accelerator pedal out? Well, there's one torque nut that you must undo in there that goes through. So you undo that top left torque nut first. Then you can see it's just pushed in. So that section there, it's pushed in into a hole and then it's slotted in. See that little tongue down there? So you once the bolt's out the top there, that you can just see, you then lift up and pop out and it's going to be wedged in really tight. So it's like a double plunk, okay? You, and you're going to be... You're going to be contorted in the car, but I levered mine up with some some of those tools underneath and like cranked on it. And as I'm cranking on it, I pulled back and pop out it came. Now the bad news is, of course, you are going to be connected at the bottom with your cable throttle and at the top with another cable, which is your accelerator or pedal position sensor, which I'm not sure what that's used for. It's a bit worrying, and I'm a bit worried about that, but I'll talk about that later on. Once you have um, undone your pedal, okay, I have had to take my entire pedal out, which is a right pain. And if you're doing this, you don't want to. So let me just move on to the next thing. To split your pedal in half, there's four screws. One there, one there, one there, one there. And I think they're posi, posi twos. Um, you know, you just undo them, they're quite long. Once you've done that, there's a tag there that you've got to lift up and a tag on the bottom that you've got to lift up. And if you're doing this in situ in your car, because it's still connected with the cable at the top and the cable at the bottom, or if it's an electronic throttle, you'll just have one cable probably coming down into the top. But if you're doing this in situ, it's gonna be a nightmare. So what you've got to do is try and twist it round and get a bit of room, pop that top connection off, pop the bottom one off, and then prise it apart. <laughs> Good luck with that, but you can do it, because I did it. So when, then what you do is you'll start prising these apart like this. So that bottom that bottom tag is still connected. I'm doing it with one hand, which is a bloody nightmare. I can't do it with one hand. Oh yeah, I can. So like a screwdriver in here to prise them apart helps, or the non-marring tool. I'm just gonna pop this down so I can do it. Just show you. There we go. So you're gonna pull these apart like this in the car. And they are they will slowly it will slowly come but it's a nightmare um and then you'll you'll get to the point where you've got them apart like this and you can separate them and then you can slide this pedal out okay so the pedal sits on that bar yeah that when you open it up you can then get it off both of those bars you see it's got little holes in it which slide on the bar there and on the bar that side. This will be so useful to some people. If you're not, if you've got Porsche, this video ain't gonna be much use to you. And you can see the stock pedal, why there's so much play in it, because it's just all plastic and you get all the play from this bit, which I can't even see the point of having this separate bracket in there. What is the point of that? Just make it all one piece so you eliminate all that play. But then you've also got the play of the bar going through this piece of plastic and it's gonna be wear and tear on the plastic. So you've got double the play and the net result is a lot of play and your pedal feels really wobbly. You could, if you, you could take this out, so by splitting the two halves, unslot this and then load this up with some form of adhesive. Probably a flexible adhesive would be a good idea, not a dry curing adhesive. You want a flexible adhesive maybe something like tiger seal but you don't want to go mad so it's all losing everywhere but that might lock it in and give you a little bit more tightness anyway onto this ren list thing so the ren list bracket you take if you take the stock pedal and this thing came with no instructions which i wasn't too happy about um because you need instructions now i'll argue well you should know what you're doing 
you should know, anyone should be a qualified mechanic and should know what the inside of this accelerator pedal looks like. Well, I don't. And I bet you a lot of mechanics don't as well. This is just a ball lake and there should be instructions. So you push down on those two tongs and that will slide out. You put your metal one in and you drill it in. No problems there. And that looks like an amazing fit and a really nicely engineered piece of um, whatever it is. Is it aluminium? I don't know. Um, lovely. So no problems with this bit. Now, this is where it all goes horribly wrong. They provide you with a brass sleeve to go over your existing pedal. Now, this is where I hit a problem because this brass sleeve did not want to go over these pegs. It basically mounted up to them and it was, it was the same size. So I managed to just sand a little bit of this, um, of this peg just to get me started so I could get the brass sleeve over the edge of this and put a little bit of lubricant there, a bit of grease. It was already a bit greasy. And then I used a G-clamp while this is in the car to push down on the brass sleeve and get, get it to sleeve on here. And it's now sleeved and it's all the way in. However, it's absolutely rock rigid tight and there's no way I'm ever gonna get that off. Did it damage? Yeah, and it did. Don't like the way, yeah. The, the um, clamp has damaged that little bit of plastic, but I can live with that. You won't see that, but that's a bit annoying. That's going to bug me. In fact, I could transfer it over to this because it's the same plastic casing. Is it the same part number? So, but anyway, let, yeah, let me carry on. I will probably do that. Let me carry on. Now, so I've got the brass sleeve on one side and I'm putting it all back together in my car and I've got it all back in. I'm like here and I've got to this stage and I'm putting, so let's put one with a sleeve on it. I get here, look, this will not go on. <laughs> it will not go in this brass sleeve again. So I have to file down the edge of this a little bit and then I have to get a G clamp and compress this. So I'm compressing it, and I managed to get this to go in, and it starts with compression. It's going in and in and in and in, and I think, yeah, I've got this. I'm home and dry. I've got it. But unfortunately, obviously, don't forget to put the pedal on as well. Don't forget to put this bit, bit on, so you're compressing the whole thing back together. So I'm compressing this, compressing this. It's under massive pressure, as you can hopefully see there. Eventually, I get it back together again. So it's all done, and I'm like, yay. It's done, but there was like a two or three mil gap here on either side of the pedal. And that meant this was wobbling like that. And I could not for the life of me with no amount of force on the G-clamp get these any closer. So then I took it all apart. And of course, as I'm taking it apart, this piece here is absolutely wedged, wedged into here like a, dug in like an Alabama tick <laughs> and then I snap it trying to get it off there you can see the foot there snapped snap endo there it is look here's the peg that snapped and if you look carefully you can see how it's distorted where the brass bar has slid all the way up to that last bit and then got seized and jammed and that it's almost pushed the plastic up as well so it just couldn't quite sleeve on here so I'm not too impressed with um, I'm not too impressed with that that brass sleeve and that fitment because that should sleeve over this plastic. It needs to be tight, but it doesn't need to be so tight that it's an absolute nightmare to install. I spoke to different people, and some people said it was easy to install, and other people said they had an absolute nightmare. And I wonder if it's either tolerance in the manufacturing of this the inside in particular, um, or if the temperature affects it, if it's freezing cold, it might just be a tiny bit tighter. In a really hot day, it'll open up a little bit and it will go on. So this is like take two for me. And you have to be very careful when you're messing around with this because I've also taken all of the wiring gubbings out of the pedal and I've got to put them all back in and make sure it all works at the end. And I've got to fit it in my car. So you have to be very careful. So you've got the main loop piece there. Um, and then that's the bit that comes in on the top. So that, that acts on the pedal, the pedal position sensor and is actuated by the main 
that piece which connects to the the pedal <laughs> um and it's gonna be difficult to make sure that's all working and back together but it, uh, you have to get that right it's also dangerous if you don't get it right you've got to be very careful you know very careful so my approach now is i am not going to put this back in my car till i've satisfied myself that i can mount these two halves together without having to use a g-clamp and force this into that hole so i need to take some of this material off of here or indeed i could take my dremel when i've got a little round stone take a little bit of brass material out of the inside of that but i don't think you should be having to machine a part that you've bought. i mean part of me would just send this back and part of me wishes i'd never done this and never attempted it because every pedal i've seen on 996 has loads of play and loads of wobble uh, but i just wish i hadn't tried this but yeah that part there not overly impressed with it but then again maybe it's me being dumb but i can't see why um, again, if there were some instructions with the part that mentioned this and, and talked about what you need to do and whether you need to sand that or machine that out a little bit, then I'd be okay with it. But no, no guidelines means that I broke something. Well, it's my fault, but there you go. Um, yeah, so you live and learn. Um, I think I've got away with it, but there we go. So I am now going to attempt to get all this done, enough talking, but hopefully... This has been useful to anyone thinking of doing this upgrade. First thing is, if you're not familiar with messing around on cars, don't do it. Do not do it. Um, you know, and I'm not that brilliant, <laughs> far from it, but I will get it. I understand what I've got to do and I will get it right. Touch wood. Um, yeah, everything, whoever fitted this metal plate as well, anything that's been done on this car has not been quite done properly. <laughs> That doesn't that that hasn't caused me that many problems actually that was okay so i'll come back where the stage where it's all done um and hopefully everything's good mm. okay back important update <laughs> what i've learned is that the plastic sleeve on the left side of the accelerator pedal is thinner than the plastic sleeve on the right side of the accelerator pedal it doesn't matter which because i've got multiple pieces here that that's on all of them i think now that brass thing will go on there either way around it will just slide on there now and it isn't too much grief um but to get it to go on here i've had to remove some material um from the plastic with a little dremel put tool just just taking away enough material to, to the point where I could get this on and I just G-clamp it on and slowly crank it up where it wasn't under so much pressure it's going to fly off like a bullet shell. So it's, I've managed to sleeve it reasonably well. And I think I know I'm going to be okay because now I can just test when it's off the car that I can sleeve it here you can see i can you i can sleeve that i'm not going to push it all the way in but i could well actually i should do shouldn't i but i will push it all the way in because it's a proper test then so let's put the bar on there let's put that on there because this is what we're going to have to do in the car but with all the gubbins in it you have to be careful yeah because you want this pedal has to be up actually that's one thing that could could also cause you some problems or else it won't slide in very easily you have to get all these runners in the right place um let's just make sure we're in the right position there i think we are yeah we're going in so that should continue to sleeve it so you imagine when you've got to do this inside the car it's a nightmare something stopping it from easily sleeving what is that oh maybe it's air as well but it's Let's just have a look. So that's sort of, it's not fully sleeved. Now it is. Yeah, so it just sort of, once you've got it all right, that's good. So that's what we're aiming to get in our thing. There's still a little bit of play, but not much actually. To be fair, that's pretty good. There's a little bit of wiggle. If there was no wiggle, there'd be too much friction probably. It needs to be friction free, doesn't it? I think that's why it's brass. Um... So we're nearly there. 
So, be aware as well what you're going to be left with. The old accelerator pedal had um, that little sheath that just covered that bottom section. So it would look like that. Whereas that's gone. You don't have that on this new thing. You just have that bar. Um, is that does that create any risk of anything getting jammed in there? Not, not really. No, you'd have, you'd nutcracker it, wouldn't you? If it did, but you'd have to be just careful. Don't have debris and twigs down there and all that sort of stuff. They think about all of these things. So there we go. I'll I'll put this back in the car now. So effectively, what I've got to do is unclip that there. So I've released it. Unclip that one there, so it's released from the bottom. Separate these two, which is going to be fun and games. Do that without busting them, which I can do, which is a good sign. Um, then I've got to reinstall the accelerator, um, so that pops on, that ball joint pops on, under there, you just pop it in. That's how the, that's how the, the pedal actuates um, this. That goes on there like that, and obviously you're gonna have a throttle cable connected to it on yours. Um, that's how you actuate it. Now, you need to be careful with this piece here. This piece here, the rubber foot goes this end, and there'll be a metal bar, which I'll need to take Okay, so you want the seat out. I'm assembling, reassembling the pedal. So the first thing I do is attach the pedal position sensor cable at the top. And that that's under there. That's on a little arc underneath there. And you wanna make sure that the actual main throttle cable piece, which is this bit you can see wobbling, slots in there so that when it moves up, it actuates the, um, it actuates on this so you see it needs to mate onto that piece okay so then when you accelerate it it'll push that and that will actuate the sensor and that's the there's the little piece the tag if you like which actuates on it so you need to make sure that's good if in doubt push it all the way forward like i've got it there and then when you put that on over the top there you know you're going to be in the right position. If you have it up there, I think, and you put this on down here, it's not, yeah, you're not going to get in. So you need to there, go there, and then you can see you'll actuate it. You can see it moving now. So I think that's correct. So that's all good. Make sure that's all in place. That's going to sleeve onto there, which is going to be a bit fiddly. We'll do that at the end. Just make sure that it's outside and you can poke it in later on. That's like a dust cover. Now you've got the problem. This system's going to be under pressure. So this bottom loop, the cable needs to go around there and sit in a channel here. So it's going to be a bit fiddly to, to get that in because it's going to be under pressure. And this piece here, that's the end of the cable. That needs to mount into there and it will be under pressure when it's wrapped round here so it's gonna be a bit fiddly um once you've got that under pressure you need to make sure that stays in down that bottom and then you get your two halves back together and over it this is not easy if i knew how to disconnect there's the cable it goes off under there somewhere if i knew where to disconnect it so i could get slack that would make this job a lot easier probably but then it'd probably be harder who knows i'll get it okay i think i'm having some success this is right pain, this one. Um, I think I'm in now. So I used a bit of tape because at the top of this, there's that little black bit there, which is a bit, bit have to sit inside two halves of the pedal and it keeps falling out. It's nothing to hold it. So you've got enough to worry about without that falling out. So tape that in. Um, make sure you've put the pedal back in before you assemble two sides. You laugh, but I did it. Um, I managed to get it all to go. Be careful with the, the mounting point. So the wire has like that stub on the shroud, if you like, on the sheath, and that stubby bit, you know, I don't know what you call it, 
butts up against the plastic tube here. It's easy for the wire to poke through and then that will stop you squeezing them together um, by a few mil. Um, so that's all in place now. Then I'm just doing up these bolts, these four screws, sorry, here on the side. And then you've got the main screw, which does the accelerator. Then that's going to slot back in. And then that's the screw, the torque one. Oh, no, it's a screw. It's a Phillips, not a torque. Um, it goes back in the top. And then everything is done. I just need to make sure that that there is sealed, tucked in and sealed around there. I might as well do that now. So anyway, I'm not going to do it one hand with the camera in my hand because life is hard enough. Sorry about the dodgy camera work. I haven't even got a tripod. Hard enough. I'll be back. I'll be back. Dun, dun, dun. Ding dong. The witch is dead. The wicked witch of the West. He's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. Look. Hold on, let's put that in somewhere you can see it. That thing's coming out. Get in there. Get in there. He's only gone and done it. And it looks, I mean, there's a bit of play. <laughs> Still a bit of play, but nothing like what it was before. It's like a wobbly old tooth. Um, he's only gone and done it. Now, does it actually work? Let's make sure it looks hot. This car's not been started for a while. Oh, so glad. Sorry, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about sniffing. Sorry about the not talking properly, choking. Right, come on, Jono. We're definitely, this car's not going to go flying off through the wall, is it? You'll be so bloody careful. Don't think it is. Be ready to turn it off. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, you little beauty. You little beauty. Oh, you little beautiful. All right. I know. Someone will moan about me pressing the accelerator pedal because the engine's not warm. <laughs> you didn't do the correct Porsche. Porsche startup procedure. <sighs> no. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, so this whole accelerator pedal upgrade thing, I'll find out if it's any good. Just going to take it for a test drive at some point. Be very, very careful when I do. Like, just uh, lucky I just go up and down the cul de sac first, and then, yeah, you've got to test it properly. Yeah, be very careful when you do anything to the accelerator pedal. This job, even though on the face of it, is extremely simple. Really, well, not extremely simple. It's not, in fact, <laughs> to cancel that, this job should be simple. But the design of that pedal is not the best, really. Um, and someone will probably say in the comments why I've made it difficult for myself. My thinking is really, if you've got a cable throttle car, to make this a foolproof method, I would probably find out how you disconnect that, that throttle cable to take the pressure off of it. Um, you can't really use mole grips, you know, pull it and mole grip it that effectively. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can do it, what I've done, very difficult to reassemble it though if you don't take if you don't know how to take the pressure off that um throttle cable um you have to use the molars the mole grips you have to be methodical with the way you put it back together again you have to have that seat out of the car and hopefully you should get there um so i know my throttle cable is working and that's actuating properly on the pedal you know those little roll those half semicircles. what i don't know is if the throttle position sensor is fully operational. <laughs> I think I've done it correctly. I'm not sure how I'll know or I find out, but it couldn't go anywhere else. And it's all back together again. And yeah, I'm, I'm about as happy as I can be. I wish I'd never done that, but it's done now. So someone, when I'm long gone, dead and buried, and if this car's going still alive when I'm dead, someone will have the advantage of having a pedal that won't wiggle around like a uh, you know like a plastic straw in a vice in the wind over and out take care this is uh yeah you know the drill bye